वेलकम टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज बैक टू वर्क आई वॉज ट्रेवलिंग वैन आई रिकॉर्डेड द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई वॉज बिजी विद सम फैमिली इंगेजमेंट्स ना वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अपडेट फॉर यू वर्ड इथियोपियन गवर्नमेंट टूडे इशूड अ स्ट्रॉन्गली वर्डिड स्टेटमेंट अगेंस्ट इंटरफेरेंस इन इथियोपियन इंटरनल मैटर्स does this statement indicate that ethiopian delegation is under pressure at the meetings being held in south africa what did the government say uh, in today's statements and some uh, government officials spoke to taye than the uh, ethiopian minister uh, Uh, from the oromia region also spoke about western interference in ethiopian internal matters what did the government say first firstly this is uh, uh, the most strongly worded statement from ethiopia against uh, western countries and perhaps us as well without naming us since the start of this third round of fighting in uh, august we saw similar statements uh, last year but this year ethiopian government tried to repair its fractured ties with the us with the west as well and uh, government improved its relations with western country with us but now government is uh, Uh, openly accusing uh, western countries of backing tplf what did the government say ethiopian government in today's statement said that government uh, can no longer tolerate defamation falsehood some western entities individuals and states are parroting tplf's propaganda and uh, the purpose of this campaign being launched against ethiopia is to force ethiopia into submission and to stop defense measures being uh, taken in northern part of ethiopia can it be clearer than that ethiopian government is saying that without naming uh, any country that some states some uh, individuals and some entities they want to stop ethiopian government from continuing its military operation they want to force ethiopia into agreeing to tplf's demands and they are sharing tplf's propaganda that is why i say it's a very strongly worded uh, statement last uh, second last paragraph of the statement is very important viewers here ethiopian government is threatening uh, western countries and us government says it is forced to reconsider its relation with the countries the individuals the entities which are part of this campaign uh Ethiopian government uh, a few days ago wrote a letter to Ireland. Ireland has been a supporter of sanctions on Ethiopian government. It has been requesting UN Security Council sessions uh, and in all meetings at all UN Security Council meetings Ireland criticized Ethiopian federal government urging the UN SC to impose sanctions on Ethiopian government. but this statement is not just for ireland i personally think that uh, here ethiopian government is addressing the us and eu not african countries us and eu mainly us western entities are putting pressure upon ethiopian government which western entities two days ago Holocaust Museum uh, of uh, US uh, issued a statement uh, it said that uh, 
there was heightened risk of uh, potential genocide in Tigray. And after that, we saw statements from Ethiopian embassy in the U.S. and Eritrean embassy in the U.S. lashing out at the museum. Western media, U.S. media is also saying that there could be mass atrocities in Tigray. But the target of this statement is not just media. I think Ethiopian government, uh, through today's statement, sent a message to the US, to the EU, that the federal government is being pushed against the wall by uh, the mediators, not African, other mediators. And if it goes on, the government uh, will be forced to take new decisions. And there is mention of African Union-led peace process as well in this statement. Government says it is committed to African Union-led peace process. But, but it will reconsider its relation with those countries which are parroting TPLF's lies. So, uh, it's very clear that uh, Ethiopian government was hoping a quick uh, military advance towards Makele, which has not happened. Uh, and now uh, government is under pressure to agree to cessation of hostilities. Government wants to continue its military offensive in Tigray. Eritrea has been against uh, stopping a war. Eritrea, Ethiopia, both governments believe they have a chance to wipe out TPLF as a political entity. That is why they are now uh, accusing West and US of backing TPLF of interfering in Ethiopian internal matters. Taya Dandia, Ethiopian minister from the Oromia region spoke as well today and he is a government official, uh, very outspoken. He said that West cared about peace in Iraq and in Libya and uh, then uh, people saw what happened there. So, the concern of the West for peace in Ethiopia uh, is a good thing, but uh, Ethiopia knows how to handle its crises. Ethiopia should not be dictated by the West. So, uh, again, very clear that Ethiopian government officials, Ethiopian government, they are sending a clear message to the US and West that the US and West must stop supporting TPLF. The war will continue. The military operation in Tigray will continue. And if Ethiopian government is uh, pushed against the wall, then government will uh, maybe cut off ties with the uh, backers of TPLF or it will reconsider its relation with TPLF backers. It's a very serious statement, viewers. Uh, uh, keeping in view what is happening in South Africa, this statement is very significant. We have not heard of any breakthrough so far uh, in the talks uh, in South Africa. Rather, we are seeing intensified uh, military operation in uh, Tigray. Uh, Ethiopian federal forces, uh, Eritrean forces, they are trying their best to reach Makele. No signs of any de-escalation on the ground. Government forces want to capture Makele no matter what happens. And at the same time, they are part of talks uh, where they are being uh, uh, pressurized by the US and West to agree to stopping of war. So overall, we can say that Tigray is playing diplomatic cards uh, well. Tigray's uh, supporters, uh, TPLF supporters, the countries which support TPLF diplomatically, uh, they have succeeded in putting pressure upon Ethiopian government. Ethiopian government, which has been saying that it, it is ready for talks anywhere, anytime, now uh, talks are being held and Ethiopian government is accusing West and US of interfering in Ethiopian internal matters. 
Uh, I don't see the statement uh, as a good sign for the success of the ongoing peace process in South Africa. Uh, US and Western countries will have to deal uh, with Ethiopia very cautiously. EU is not part of talks in South Africa. Why? Because uh, EU was vocal uh, against Ethiopian federal government. It uh, uh, criticized uh, Ethiopian Eritrean government's actions. And uh, Ethiopian government and Africa Union, they uh, threw uh, EU out of talks. Same could happen with the US as well. And if US is out of the talks as well, it means that uh, there'll be no talks. Because main player is the US and this message of today's statement from Ethiopian government is definitely for the US. That US should not cross lines, cross some red lines, cross some boundaries. Because if the boundaries, the red lines are crossed, Ethiopian government will be forced to reconsider its relations with the US. So thank you for watching.